can't stop my shine. Stop my shine. In the lane, my own lane, can't stop my grind. Stop my grind. Put 40 yard in the V12 and like 1.5. At 19, at 19, in a month, no lie. Oh God. Yeah, I was starving skinny, now my way to... Well, we're back at Blue Flame Automotive. The 80 series is now blue. I've got blue balls, and we have got the ever handsome and extremely single Tyler set aside, ready to help us install a new clutch. New clutch, you might be asking. Well, that's right, because the one in here has shit the bed. Turns out when you have a whole lot of power and really big sticky tyres and you daily drive it, something's going to go wrong. And unfortunately, it was the clutch. And I've got a thousand kilometre journey in two days' time, and this clutch isn't going to cut it. So, let's get into it. So I've got the box out of Sam's 80 series and uh, it's not looking too good. He's a bit rough on the gear and he's ended up putting a hole in his clutch fork. Get him out, Sam. That's not meant to be in two pieces, is it, mate? Nah, mate. Actually, you could almost use that as a... It uh, doesn't matter. Um, all right, what's the solution? I probably can't get one. I'm driving to Brisbane tomorrow. Welder up? Welder up. Outstanding. You know what this is from, kids? This is from the TikTok trend of doing clutch kickies on stock with the only rear wheel drive, four wheel drives. This bloke's a big culprit. So why are we here in the first place? Well, it's because we recently did a whole lot of power upgrades to the 80 series and the clutch we put in it about two years ago is just not putting up with what we're asking of it. So, as everyone will attest on the internet, MPC was basically the only option for a car with this sort of power. So, in front of me is the MPC 1300 Newton meter clutch kit. And uh, it's, well, it's specifically designed for people that are towing heavy loads, have got a, um, you know, a heavy vehicle that are going to be caravanning, uh, or have got a huge amount of power. And, uh, well, one of those is me. And uh, as you probably know, this thing saw over 800 Newton meters at the rear wheels, which probably means maybe 1,000 Newton meters at the flywheel. So it was going to be pretty important that we had something spicy to put in the car. This kit, obviously designed for 1300 Newton meters using only quality components. They've got a specific billet steel flywheel designed and manufactured by the guys at MPC up in Brisbane, as well as all other quality components. And while the box is out of the car, we're gonna be doing a couple of other things just to make sure we don't get bloody stitched up in the future. We've got a new master, a new slave, a new rear main seal. We're just gonna give it a general tidy up under there as well. Plus, fix that little annoying clutch fork issue, which I think ScoMo's welding up in the back corner at the moment. This edge here? Yeah, yeah, I'll do it. Oh. So hopefully with all that done and this new clutch kit in, we shouldn't have any more driveline dramas. Plus my favorite thing is it looks like it comes with a bloody human, uh, human pull starter, which is exciting. So me and this might have a quiet moment in the bathroom. Tyler's kicking goals with this car, which is good because he's got a date or something with some kind of chiropractor at four o'clock this afternoon. So we really need to get a skadoodle on. Um, so he's got the new rear main seal in, spigot bearing is good to go, which means it's time to put the new clutch in just about. But first, I thought we'd quickly show you exactly what's going on with the old one. Now, it's actually interesting having it laid apart here and we can sort of see a bit of a story of what's going on. This clutch uh, has been in for about two years, probably done 40,000 Ks and was rated to 1,000 Newton meters. And uh, well, let's just say it isn't loving life too well. There is still a little bit of meat on the clutch disc itself. Uh, we're not quite down to the rivets. Uh, which is the interesting part. I would have thought it'd be a little bit more worn than it is. Um, but over on the flywheel, we're actually seeing quite a few little hairline cracks forming as well as a lot of heat spots. Um, so it tells us a bit of a story. A, that this flywheel is ready for the bin. It's been machined probably one too many times and is pretty much uh, a little bit long in the tooth. But the heat spots as well as the signs of slippage on the uh, pressure plate tell us that this clutch wasn't really up to the power that this car was making while turning those big tires and uh, it was really only a matter of time before it left us stranded on the side of the road somewhere. So this new MPC setup should fix all our problems. Oh, 
Well, in true Naughty 40 fashion, it's fought Tyler every step of the way. And he's absolutely stoked about it, might I add. And it's been a great day and absolutely nothing went wrong. So it's been really good. Uh, no, there's a reason it's still on the hoist and there's a reason I'm doing an outro now because it's wishful thinking. I figure, you know, let's get ahead of the game. We'll say goodbye to you folks and then this thing should just be slapped back together. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Uh, probably can't use that. It's pretty graphic. <laughs> Might be a bit too much. Or maybe it's just the right amount. A great success. Well, guys, by now you probably know that I am working with Fulcrum and we've just rewrapped the Naughty 40 in this sweet Fulcrum-inspired livery. But I just wanted to take a quick moment out of the episode to tell you about something very exciting. I need you guys to stay tuned on the Fulcrum Suspensions pages because we have got a new product launching in the next coming weeks that is going to bloody blow your socks off. It's absolutely wild. Let's just say, well, if you're formulated for results like I am, you're gonna wanna know what it is. <laughs> yeah, we're rolling. I was looking for it up in the big screen, bar. It's not rolling. It is. It is. Fuck you, man. Who gives a fuck? I'm the cameraman now, bitch. You wanna see me twerk? No, no. Oh, this is in graphic detail. Whoa! <laughs> oh shit, damn! By the time you'd finished, I still didn't have focus, but that's fine. Also, the pressure blade has got some serious signs of slipping on it um, and getting a bit hot too. So, realistic, 